What's howling, Lobos? Today's Thursday, March 9th. Welcome back to La Mesa Live. I'm Jackson, and this is my co anchor, Anshul. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. If you are an 8th grader going to Golden Valley's Black and Gold Day, you should be in your D period right now, where you will leave your backpack until you return from Golden Valley. If your D period is your elective class or PE, please leave your backpack in your math class. Teachers, you should excuse your students to head over to the buses. I think I'm going to be late. When you come back, you will have 15 minutes to pick up your backpack and purchase something from the cafeteria. Goop or slime, either homemade or store-bought, is not allowed on campus. If you are in possession of any goop or slime, it will be confiscated and disposed of immediately. The spring dance is coming on Friday, March 24th, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Tickets are on sale for 7 bucks. This price is only good until Friday, March 17th. The price will go up to 10 bucks after March 17th. Students will need a signed dance permission slip to purchase a ticket. This will be the final dance for the entire student body, so do not miss out on a Candyland extravaganza. Be there or be square. The Take a Hike Club is going, to, is going on their very first club hike. Club members need to turn in their permission slips by Friday, by Friday at lunch. Feel free to drop by during brunch or lunch today or tomorrow to give Mr. Klaus your permission slip. Just remember, if you don't have a signed permission slip, you will not be able to join in this hike. The Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Department is sponsoring the All Schools Dance for students in 8th through 12th grades. The dance will be held this Friday, March 10th, from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. at Magic Mountain. The tickets are $10 and you must have student ID to enter. Robotics will be meeting today for this week and next Tuesday and Thursday from 3.20 to 4.30. The, springs the spring showdown is just around the corner. See you all there, Lobos. Attention all 7th graders. Do you want to be recognized for your creativity? Please continue to work on those binder reminder covers. Your artwork should relate to the theme, Diversity and Strength. All cover submissions should be brought to Ms. B. Har Prince in the art room by Wednesday, March 15th. Today in history, on March 9, 1831, French King Louis Philippe founded the French Foreign Legion. Today is also the birthday of American ex Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci. He would have been 563 years old. For the next couple of weeks, until the start of the fourth quarter, the word of the day will be a combination of review words and words we weren't able to air because of holidays. The word of the day for today is concede. It is a verb. The definition is to yield a point, sometimes grudgingly, to give in. A sample sentence would be, eventually he had to concede that maybe his team was not, go was not good enough to make the playoffs. Something you should know about today. Today is meatball day. Just the word meatball is enough to bring to mind great family <coughs> meals for most people. These little balls of various meat can be found throughout the world in almost every culture. Many people may associate them with Italian cuisine, although spaghetti and meatballs is an American dish. No matter your background, you can jump in and enjoy Meatball Day. How to celebrate Meatball Day? Meatball Day, like other culinary holidays, should be enjoyed with your family and friends gathered around. 
The most difficult part of preparing for Meatball Day is going to be picking with what nation's recipe you will use. Meatballs can be an appetizer, a side dish, or the star of the meal. What is your favorite way to enjoy meatballs? There are so many ways to make them. Have them added to your pizza or on a sandwich. Do you prefer to stick to the traditions of your family or try to create something new? It doesn't matter if you're a chef or a first time cook. Making a meal with meatballs is easy, but it has the wonderful side effect of making you look the, like the star of your kitchen. Just do a search with your favorite search engine for meatball recipes and pick the one that sounds yummy. That might be all of them. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, for Jackson and the entire crew of Amaze Alive, I'm Unshul. Have a black and gold Thursday.